Hi boys and girls and welcome to Storytime with Miss Abby. Today I've got the story Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. I hope you enjoy it. Nipper the Crab hated his huge clumsy claws. However hard he tried, they always got in the way. None of his friends had clumsy claws. He wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish. One day, Nipper was playing catch the bubble with his friends. Pop! His clumsy claws pricked the bubble and it burst. They couldn't play that game anymore. They played chase instead. Nipple scuttled off sideways, but one of his clumsy claws got in the way. Whoosh! He slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. Turtle had to dig him out. They all decided to play hide and seek. Crab climbed into a big clam shell and pulled it shut. It was the perfect hiding place until... Crack! Nipper's clumsy claw shattered the shells into a hundred tiny pieces. Ouch! He cried. Nipper sighed. If only I didn't have these claws, I'll be good at hide and seek. Don't worry, Nipper, said Jellyfish, picking up the pieces of shell. We'll hide and you can find us. Nipper counted to ten and then set off to find his friends. He searched in the sand and found Turtle. He searched under the shells and found Jellyfish. He searched up and down and in and out of the rocks, but he couldn't find Octopus anywhere. Then he heard a cry. Octopus was tightly tangled in some seaweed. Help! Help! Octopus squirmed and squiggled and wriggled and jiggled. Turtle and Jellyfish tried to help, but the knots just got tighter and tighter. Nipper had an idea. He gently snipped at the seaweed with his claws and small pieces floated away. Faster and faster, Nipper danced around the clump of seaweed. His claws moved quickly, slashing and slicing, shredding and dicing, until the sea was filled with pieces of seaweed swirling all around. Octopus was finally free. Thank you, you're a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. And that's the story, Clumsy Crab by Ruth Galloway. I hope you enjoyed it. Come join me again next time for more story time with Miss Abby. See you.